done on your property. He's sleeping on the couch tonight. And uh, why are you so mean to me? I'm not. You, you just like slammed me on the video. No, no, yeah. no. I said I could do it faster. No, I didn't, didn't say I could do it better. Mm, you said you could teach anyone. Well, what's up, guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, and uh, today, today's going to be a scorching hot day filled with lots of sweat, blood, sweat, and tears, probably. Um, so one of the things about living in such a place with so many trees, one of those little chores that just never ends is trimming tree limbs. And one tool that, that I just despise, I've always hated using, is a pole saw. Now growing up as a kid, I obviously lived on this property growing up. So in high school or my junior high years and early into high school, we didn't have like gas powered pole saws. We had the old style that had, you know, a saw blade on it and you, <laughs> you could spend weeks out here trimming limbs. And then uh, we had a huge ice storm in like the year 2000 and my dad actually invested in a steel gas powered pole saw, which we still have. I actually used it on this channel a couple times. But kind of, uh, it's about 20 years old and I bent the bar. I need to get a new bar for it. But recently I purchased a, a new uh, 20 volt DeWalt uh, tool set. You know, you can buy all kinds of different tools. Well, I got to poking around on their website and they had a 20 volt DeWalt pole saw. And I thought, man, an electric saw would sure be handy because you're not gonna have to worry about that gas motor. Because the problem with this pole saw is I only use it a few times a year and it's always a pain to keep that gasoline engine going. So we're going to test out a new DeWalt pole saw today. And um, one of the joys of having an 18 year old teenager that doesn't have a summer job right now because of some weird virus going around is he needs work. And he's going to get paid to cut trees today. So if I can get Weston re-motivated, he had to get up this morning early, early. They leave, he leaves, him and Emily both left the house at like 5.30 because they have summer workouts for sports. So he come, he come back in and dog tired, you know, he wasn't taking a nap. So as soon as we can get him motivated, we're going to get Weston on the pole saw and start trimming some trees. And uh, this may be like an all day, even a two day project. But anyways, here's, so here's my comparison. We're going to. I'm not going to fire up the gas powered saw because as I said, um, yeah, I might have bent the bar and haven't bought a new bar for it just yet. So I played with this electric saw just a little bit and the thing about the gas powered pole saw is your motor is back here so you got a lot of weight and then your throttle and the, the tool end, the actual bar end is pretty light. Now, this DeWalt, I didn't think about this ahead of time, but after getting it, I, hmm, I think it may be a workhorse. It works great, don't get me wrong. Um, it comes with an extra section, so you can open it up right here in the middle, extend it out so you've got, it'll make it a total length of 10 feet. You can reach about 15 feet up in the air. But the problem I'm finding is your electric motor right here is on the bar end and not back here where you're counterweight would be like with the gas saw so this electric chainsaw is much heavier on the bar end than the gas powered saw so we'll see how weston's muscles hold up today You're supposed to yell timber well congratulations um, if I were you, I'd cut that up into smaller pieces so you can load it on a trailer. Yeah, I will. Are you going to do anything today? Mm-mm. Well, I got something planned for us today. So. Hey. Hey. I swear that door used to be red. It was. What in the world? Why do we have a mustard yellow front door? Oh, stand by. We have two. Because uh, that's what I wanted. 
I was tired of the red. Tired of the red. Yep. Well, it looks good. Got you a new sign hung up at the front door. Yep. Got a nice clean stool that has lots of dirt all over it. I haven't got there yet. Oh. But I ordered new mats. They're not here yet. So it'll be cute. And then the kids and the dogs will mess it all up. But and then that's the right. Cat. That's it right. Is. You know you could extend that, right? What? He no. said he loves you. You know you could extend that out a little bit. At least you got on safety glasses. Right, muscles this is where the workout really starts mm. now you can reach way up in the air but it just got a lot heavier didn't it yeah that's a big one yeah so our little dewalt a uh, 20 volt chainsaw here is actually working really really good. I, I like it. It's very convenient um, It's not as top heavy as what I thought it would be Of course, it's not as draining on my arms as it is Weston. He may say something different, but I'm kind of running into a problem So when I bought this I went ahead and stepped up to a, a 5 amp hour battery because when I bought my toolkit with the the uh, the drill and the reciprocating saw and all that stuff it came with two two amp hour batteries and i knew that would not run a chainsaw very well i did some research on the pole saw and even on the box here it says with the five amp hour battery it'll run up to 96 cuts per charge on a four by four pressure treated pine board well <laughs> weston got about 30 minutes of work out of that five amp hour battery and it was on the charger all night so um I, maybe it didn't get a good charge on it that might be the problem he's going to cycle through a couple two amp hour batteries while that five amp hour battery charges but that's just not going to cut it we've got way too many trees to do and i don't want it to him to just be able to work for an hour here and an hour there so i've got a better idea don't get me wrong this little dewalt pole saw works and it's very convenient if you're out and you have a few trees to trim or you're hanging a tree stand or something i think it'd be perfect but for the job that I've got, I got a better idea. Who do I know that has a good pole saw? Hey, <laughs> GP Rents. I said, I'm gonna give them a call. So I called up Eric and said, hey, do you have a pole saw over there that we could rent for a couple days to trim up all these trees around here? He said, heck yeah, I got it, come get it. So we went and picked up an Echo pole saw. Uh, much I mean it's almost the same thing as my old steel so it's got a oh I'm gonna guess here I'm thinking probably a 12 inch bar on it and then it'll extend out to like um, probably 12 or 15 feet I'm guessing so I guess it's safe to say you know most of us want better for our kids than what we had and you know not saying not saying he's a softy but Actually, this was my wife's idea. She was like, he's going to have a ton of limbs to pick up. Why don't we do something a little easier than picking them up by hand? So, <laughs> we brought home a Kubota SVL 65-2 skid steer with a grapple bucket. And I went ahead and had the guys from GP Rent send us the regular bucket so we can do a few other projects while we've got it. But that grapple bucket will make it 10 times easier than picking up all these limbs out here and hauling them by hand. So, Weston gets to run the skid steer today. Where am I going? Hey, forgot your glasses. Gotta have your safety glasses.
What are you doing out here? Supervising? I mean... I have a feeling I know what you're doing out here. What's that? So, you know, I said we were being, being extra nice and brought this uh, skid steer with the grapple bucket for Weston to do all the cleanup. And I got a feeling somebody else is wanting on the skid steer. Hey, maybe. I unloaded it across the creek to drive it in because I won't pull a trailer with something that heavy on the back of it. And she said, I'm going to drive the skid steer back to the house. You can drive the truck. So I have a feeling she's wanting to end up out here on that skid steer. So she's never driven a skid steer other than just, you know, putting it in drive and going forward. She never worked an attachment. This guy over here is about to start puking back here. He's a he's a one he's like a one limb wonder. I'm telling you this kid hard work. Hmm. I think today is what we're gonna call it character building today. He's not enjoying the pole saw. What's the matter bro? It was the workout this morning that got you huh? So I guess I'm going to be teaching two different people how to run the skid steer and the grapple bucket today is my guess. Yeah, trimming these trees is absolutely not a lot of fun and I know that because I have to do it almost every year out here. But it's good for 18 year olds to learn to do something like this as much as this one does not enjoy it, huh? <laughs> There's a lot of things we do that we don't enjoy but, that still have to be done. So here's the deal. I'm, I made a deal with Weston because he's needing money, he's needing to work and I said I'll pay you to do all this stuff. I said but the sweeten the pot i'll even split the income that i generate off of the youtube video that we make if he would be in the video because we all know wetson does not like to be on camera <laughs> so he's trying to make a little money today you got this bro pull it back pull it. i pull it So we've had some pole saw training courses with this kid and I'm trying to get to him to understand that if you just cut through the limb when it starts to fall, if you didn't undercut it or pull the saw blade out, it's gonna get in a bind. And every time he cuts something bigger than about, oh, two inches or so, when it falls, he's like, oh, it got stuck, I need help. Excuse me, sir, what seems to be the problem? Tree's the problem? Yeah. Tree's the problem. His glasses are smushed up against your forehead. And foggy. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Listen, Linda. We got time for your crap. Just whenever you're ready. It's hard to get any work done around here with the hired hands I've got. You better shut your trap. <laughs> <laughs> we share a bed. You better just a bed. All right, madam, I've shown you how to drive it. I've shown you how to lift the bucket, okay? So, mm -hmm. once we get it started. Oh, watch my toes. That turns on your hydraulics, so that's what's gonna allow you to move that, okay? Mm -hmm. You're gonna need to give it a little bit of throttle. Okay, okay? okay? Yeah. All right, listen. Okay. So you hit the auxiliary, and then this rocker button. Hey, you're not cutting many trees. That's what's gonna, that's what's gonna close your grapple, okay? Yeah. Now, you're not gonna have much luck trying to pick up one or two little. So what I would do is tilt this, like lift it up. Okay, keep going. Now tilt it like this. Push it out. Okay. Tilt it to where these go towards the ground. There you go. Now, now when you drive forward, don't run those into the ground. You can kind of see them right there, right? And you'll want to basically scoop up your limbs like this and then close down on them, okay? 
You got this. into the pile. Keep pushing. Now hey, you want to drop your bucket down like this and kind of go into it. So drop your bucket down and curl it to you. Yeah, keep going. Curl it to you. You want to wad it up is what you're trying to do. Now clamp down on it. Keep going. There you go. Now curl it towards you. Towards you. There you go. Get up deep. You can raise it up and look under. So I only see two possible options here. One, either I'm an excellent, excellent instructor, heavy equipment operator instructor, or that Kubota skid steer is extremely easy to learn how to operate. Um, mm -hmm. My wife has very little experience on any kind of tractor or heavy equipment, and she's able to pick up the controls on that skid steer in no time and uh, clean up all these limbs, and she's leaving Weston on the saw. Hey. What, what? What, what? Put your helmet on. Okay. Pretty sure texting and driving is illegal. Not driving. There you go, yeah. Well, you got it up in there. What? Teenager was over there dancing. Oh. Hmm. I just noticed my perfectly good rented pole saw laying on the ground over here. You said what? I said I noticed a perfectly good rented gasoline pole saw on the ground over there yeah i found that I don't know who you like that electric one a little bit huh a little bit lighter why are you climbing the tree bud dude working smarter not harder right now it might look like i'm working harder hmm but, hmm seems to me like the one that reaches 15 feet up in there would be perfect Okay, so while my wife's off playing on the skid steer, I'm gonna do like Paul Harvey used to do when I was a kid and tell you the rest of the story. So here's the deal. We actually started off this morning with Weston working with my DeWalt 20 volt, just battery powered pole saw. 
and the problem there was he was out working my batteries that thing's made to just be used sporadically on a few trees not in a forest like we live here on a day when it's 9,000 degrees yeah so since he was out working the batteries and i only have one charger with three batteries couldn't keep up my wife said why don't you go to gp and get a pole saw well she jumped in the truck and on the way over there she said why don't we get something that he can use to pick up all the limbs because i had him hook the Kubota on to this trailer as you can see he was picking up all the limbs by hand mom said why not get a tractor or a skid steer or something where he can just pick it all up and get it out of the way fast so the rest of the story as you can clearly see is i think mom was the one that wanted the skid steer she hasn't been off that thing in the last hour and uh the rest of us are out here sweating like dogs working while she's just playing hey i haven't been, i haven't been sweating because i've been inside because i don't have to do anything because i don't i can't even lift all these one of these things up like this yeah you're not big enough to run a chainsaw or i can't run that nope so and i wouldn't use my machete because it's just gonna like doll it up that's right and it's already dolled up so it's pretty bad yeah that's the rest of the story so this thing actually works really well but a gas powered one 10 Way times better, better huh yes of course my teenager has had to go take a break hey weston thought he had a lot of big muscles when he was working this one we brought home the other one can't hang can he I have a question. What? Would you give me a big hug? I don't want to. Why not? Because you're gross. Some of us got sweaty working today. Listen, I've been plenty sweaty, so let's just keep our distance. Listen. Mm -mm. See? There's my point. As I was saying earlier on the rest of the story. What's the rest Somebody of the story? wanted a, some of us dripping wet in sweat. Thanks. Bro. So, I got something in my eyes. Probably sawdust from working with the saws all day, you know. Mm-hmm. So, how was operating a skid steer for the first time? Since that, I mean, legit, that was your first time ever doing anything mm -hmm. on a skid steer. I mean, it was good. I really got aggravated when I was trying to scoop it all up and pile it up. And if they were already in piles, I think it would have been easier on me. But when you're trying to go and from one pile to another and not trying to tear up the driveway and the grass and all these things are going through my head and it's just too much and it was making me mad. But so I didn't like scooping it, but once it was scooped and I got it, it super easy peasy, driving it, dumping it, coming back, and then I do it all over again. <laughs> Get aggravated all over again. <laughs> but then the other part is super easy. So I really liked it. I know, it's, I'm super confusing. So what I'm hearing her say is we need to uh, go ahead and just buy a Kubota skid steer. Mm -mm. Oh. I did not say that. Well, that's no. what I was hoping for. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> so uh, it, it that grapple bucket, I will say, is probably not the best tool for the job. It's a little bit overkill. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was just going to have Weston pick them all up by hand, but Mama's baby. Shut up. She didn't. She didn't that want the baby boy getting too it. hot and sweaty. Oh my gosh, that is so not it. She did, she, she wanted him to learn how to operate the skid steer then. He can oh. tomorrow. Whoa, tomorrow. Okay, I was gonna say because you didn't even let him get on it today. No, I got on it. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you did. So I thank you for your help. I appreciate yeah. it. This this new life of and all my new coworkers I've got mm. seems to be working out pretty well. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Good. So, Weston has a ton more of tree trimming to do like i said i am hiring him to trim not just the front yard in here i mean i'm i'm gonna pay the kid a fair salary to do about three days worth of tree trimming and uh i will say this we're trying to build a little character because <laughs> he is not enjoying the gas powered tree saw at all he likes the lightweight do you, I got little a question though. Do, do you enjoy it it's not about pleasure oh, it's, it's, it's just because you a have necessary the, evil you have that i have to strength oh, there you go see oh but, I, I like okay. your style but when but give you give me one of those hugs no uh, <laughs> but when you were 18 <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. so anyways uh yeah 
guys if you enjoyed this video let us know leave us a thumbs up houston's not out here to end the video but uh it is kind of fun getting to teach other people to use this equipment and i could get out here on that skid steer and probably get it done a lot faster but I, I do like to prove a point in that anyone can go out there and rent this equipment. Did you just like slam me? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that's what you did. <laughs> Anybody can go out there and rent this Kubota rental equipment he's, and get projects done on your property. He's sleeping on the couch tonight. And uh, why are you so mean to me? I'm not. You, you just like slam me on the video. No, no, yeah. no, I said I could do it faster. No, I didn't did. say I could do it better. Mm, you said you could teach anyone because they're so easy to operate that's what it is so guys thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna go make my bed somewhere else tonight so <laughs> <laughs> y'all have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video